okay friends so these are the shields gearbox shields which we are using to place and lock over this gearbox this is a toy gearbox which i have purchased from amazon we are just going to lock this shield just like this over this and we are going to secure this with the help of these two nuts and we will hold it position like this further we will join the front wheel drive assembly here with the help of some strong glue so before placing this assembly we need to fill these joint gaps otherwise once we place this assembly the access towards these joints will get blocked so before that let's place the joints for shock absorber as well as the wheel alignment mechanism with the help of these lock nuts we can simply slide this So as you can see, all the four joints, two for the shocker and two for the wheel alignment are fixed perfectly into these slots. Now we can assemble and stick the mechanism. So there is a groove, there is a projection on this side of the motor the gearbox so I have cut a groove for that which will make it easy to assemble and find the correct side of the mechanism here as you can see it fits perfectly into the slots so now let's secure it with the help of a After printing, I just noticed that these screw holes are also blocked by these extensions. So further, I decided to lock it with the help of some good quality lock nuts and locking screw, locking base. So let's lock it with locking wires. Before that. Just we'll look at that. This is the assembly is free in the mechanism, free to rotate. But as you can see, I have just secured the position of this end with the help of some good quality locking wires. Locking wires. 
circle to position is secured. Relax. Check the motor. It is moving really well. As you can see, the motor are moving freely, so the work is perfect. Let's join the wheel mechanism with the gearbox mechanism. To join the rod with the universal joint, we are using M seal. So our first wheel is dried up, as you can see it's, it's fixed permanently onto that rod. So now we can fix the second, the other side wheel assembly. To mark the alignment, I have made an ink mark here, so that we can just place and align the assembly before gluing it. Hi friends, 
as you can see our front wheel mechanism is all set to be tested the hem seal which I fixed for the axles are set now as you can see the joints here are free to move in its axis now let's check the motor efficiency and the smooth functioning of our front wheel mechanism for that I will give a 5 volt DC supply let's check as you can see drive mechanism is working smoothly since the driving mechanism is not installed it will automatically regain the comfortable that is the central position after installing the driving mechanism with the help of a servo you can hold the position of the steering on a particular position right now both the wheels are operating smoothly the lag in the rotation of the tire is due to the play of the gears installed inside once you place it on the, on the ground that lag will disappear okay so tune up guys in the next episode we will be installing the driving mechanism for this front wheel drive see you then bye bye